Well, Six News is here for your health, and tonight a firefighter with a mysterious medical problem. Bradley Blackburn is here for you now with its unusual name and a surprising treatment. On September 11th, 2001, firefighter Sidney Martin rushed to ground zero as part of the fire department's hazmat unit. You had 300 to 600 guys running in and thousands of people running down the stairs. He was trapped in the pile that day and badly injured. Eventually, he needed major surgery on his back with an incision over a foot long. This is an intense surgery. Yes, yes. The wound healed, but there was something strange. The muscles around the scar constantly twitched, causing pain. Doctors had no explanation. I felt like I was wor working on my back 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it restricted my breathing because I was in spasms. Strong painkillers didn't help. It took a toll on his daily life. But two years ago, he came to NYU Langone Center for Movement Disorders. Sydney's the first one that we've seen here. Where Dr. Pat Drummond diagnosed what's called scar dancing syndrome, a condition only known to medicine for a few years. We believe it's due to uh, an irritation of the nerves around where the surgical scar was. It's rare, but the treatment is surprisingly familiar. One, two, three. He receives large Botox injections deep in his back muscles to paralyze them. It just stops it. It just for Martin, the relief is also emotional. I'm good. When, when my dance partner says I'm sitting this one out, I'm good. A 9-11 firefighter who finally solved a mysterious problem, and he's not turning back. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Doctors say Martin's case is severe, but scar dancing syndrome could be more widespread and undiagnosed, and they hope others will hear his story and then get the help they need.